Party people, it is FM Sandbox time. Uh, we are halfway through the season, 16 matches. Only 31 matches will be played in this league before the playoffs start. So we are in the final stretch and we are in the January transfer window. Uh, nothing really happened though, looking at the ones that happened since December. Um, probably the only real notable one was Fort Haven sending Akuzi Jaeger to Vitesse. Uh, we've seen him, I believe, in the, the Left My Heart in Fort Haven episode. So that'll be sad. That's kind of... I'm really sad about Blocky. Blocky left Pinkston for Feyenoord to play in the Dutch League. Oh man, Blocky was cool. So now we have a few Catanians playing around the world. Um, let's look at the uh, head coach movements. I always thought this was funny. So the only real head coach movements... Um, Looks like Bob Bradley is now the head coach of West Gale as David Moyes continues to fail since joining Manchester United. He can't, he can't even make it in Catan. He can't even make it in Catan. And uh, Destra Math is looking for a new manager. And uh, hopefully uh, Sommer finds one too, soon too. I know they've been looking, but let's get right to it. Let's get to this matches. So for the first one we're going to do today is Indrosini against Pinkston. Uh, we've seen Pinkston a few times, but we haven't seen Androsini yet. So I figure, you know, 8th versus 7th place, that's a pretty good match to start off with, in my humble opinion. So let's get right to it. I thought we were just going to get right to it. Now let's get right to it. Alright, we got Pinkston. We've got Androsini. And uh, one of them, Will Weenie. Uh, we got Dandy Vandy. He's been doing pretty good, I've seen in the highlights. Fermin Albiol, he's leading... Indrosini in assists, but their their star player has been Max Powers, who I believe is still on. Yes, he is on the the national side. Really? Did he get sold? I thought he was playing for Mute City. Oh, who who knows? And you know, and in Pinkston, um, for some weird reason, Willie Santo John is not playing. So that we must find out. He must be injured, or um, let's find that out real quick. Okay, he's injured with knee ligament injury. Wow. Okay, so that's going to be a huge blow for Pinkston. But they got some pretty good players. Bartolomeo and Pinky Stomper. Oh, yeah. Love Pinky Stomper. And, uh, oh, here we go. Ready to start off. And within 20 seconds, we've got a shot that smashes off the post. All right, Indrosini is at home today. They are in the kind of orange shorts. I don't really know that color. It's an interesting color, but Pinkston's pink. That's how you gotta know. Pinkston is pink. Uh, Pavon with the corner kick and ooh, floats over everybody, but Gaston, nobody can do it. Oh, okay. Actually, people can do it like Gaston. Uh, yeah. All right, let's look at the formations. Uh, looks like Indrosini's got their deep 4-2-3-1 and Pinkston's got more of our national side formation. But do they press like us? I don't think so. Pavon swings in a free kick and Ackerman ends up with the ball at his feet and he does not make any mistake. He puts it right past the Indrasini netminder. Um, it was looks like, yes, Pinky Stomper got his head to it and found Ackerman right in front of the keeper challenging him there. Uh, good set piece for Pinkston. Um, I guess it's too late to make my prediction. But I would have said Pinkston just because. Uh, and that's kind of risky because they don't have Willie Santos on. Okay, Ackerman. Ackerman, run! Run, you fool! Run! Oh, he gets it to Pop 1. Pop 1 just needs to cross this in. Uh, and he finds Ackerman, who finds the post. The Moon Man, he is in the stands. He's like, boy, do I love coming here. I love watching people, especially the young ones. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, all right, 30 minutes in. And uh, let's see, um, shots, uh, Pinkson are taking it to them. Six shots, seven shots, three on target. And Drosini has not really been able to, I don't think they've had a highlight yet. Let's see if they can get one here. Let's see if Dandy Vandy, yeah, here we go. Dandy Vandy, that's the guy to get it to. Okay, he didn't want the ball. He's like, oh, do I have to? I'm tired. Dandy Vandy gets it to Thiago Maia, who gets it to Escalante, back to Thiago Maia, Thiago Maia. Finds Douglas running down the left. He crosses it in, but it is intercepted by Pinkson. But back with Indrosini. Max Powers gets it to Sage. Sage! Hits it wide. Only two shots for Indrosini. Both of them not even on target. And they are going to spend 
this entire first half with not one shot on target. Uh, shame on them. And, uh, okay, halftime. Let's, uh, let's keep this going. Maybe we'll get in a three-match episode. I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Uh, all right, Herrera with the ball. Herrera uh, hits it up towards a Pinkston striker, and it ends up with Pinkston. Pavon. Pavon dribbles at the defense, and he sends in a hopeful shot. If there's anybody that could do it, it's probably him. He has been playing extremely well. A good foreigner in this league. But it looks like Androsini is uh, all right. Let's see. You know, patience. Patience makes perfect. Good things come to those who wait. If you just simmer down, you know, stuff falls in your lap. I think that's what Socrates said. I don't know. Dandy Vandy with the ball. He gives it to Escalante. Escalante to Thiago Maya. Thiago. Oh, he's trying to find Fermin Albiol, but instead a Pinkston player intercepts it. But no, not out of the out of the woods yet. Yeah, Dandy Vandy. That's a dandy. That's a dandy goal. That's a dandy goal if I've ever seen it. The cat's freaking out. I don't know what the cat's doing. Um, I should call this the cat episode. I should have called that one episode where the cats were in there, the cat episode. But let's look at this goal. Douglas crossed in an early cross and Dandy Vandy left unmarked. Got it past Herrera. Terrible defense by Pinkston. That's because they got rid of Blocky. That would have been Blocky there. Why did they get rid of Blocky? Blocky! All right, 59 minutes in. We have a tie game. This one is, um, it's, let's see if we can uh, get a couple more goals here. Pinky Stomper to Catterley. Catterley to Pinky Stomper. Pinky Stomper to Soto. Soto finds Gaston. Gaston back to Trekker on the right. Trekker, he's looking for a cross. He finds Pavon, and Pavon finishes it off with a great finish there and a great cross from Vance Trekker. Is he on the national pool? We're going to have to put him on the national pool. If he's not, Moon Man was pleased. You please the Moon Man there, Trekker. You know, because we can never have enough wingbacks. Pavon, though, um, he's a space investigator. What can you say? Um, I've never, ever gotten in football manager the position of Raudoimeter. I don't know how you say it, but that's the Raudoimeter position, the space investigator position. Never gotten into work in a formation. It's always been a dream of mine to get it to work in football manager. And it's never happened! And Indrosini just tied the game. This has got to be probably one of the highest scoring games we've had in our episodes. With the exception of that destruction of Banton against Borden. With, or Banton against Destromath uh, with a 6-1 victory. But great corner kick there. A scrappy goal. Indrosini is back in it. And Pinkston just cannot maintain these leads. Here we go. Walker. Walker looks for... Uh, an Indrosini player, waste of possession there, Maximilian to Sage, Sage hits it up, and it's uh, contested, but Powers ends up with it, and he finds River Crystal Ride, River Crystal Ride, oh, he tried to stretch the keeper, but Herrera was ready, great reflex save. Alright, Pavon puts in a corner that gets now on a counterattack for Indrosini, Dandy Vandy with the ball. The cat is meowing. Max Powers gets it to Sage. Sage almost had it. Almost had it. Uh, here we go. Wow, this has been a good match. This has definitely been one of the best matches we've done. One of the most not one-sided. I feel like most of the matches have either been 1-1 one -one draws or uh, one team just owning it. Uh, here we go, Thiago Maya. Oh, intercepted by Pinkson. Oh, and a missed header. It's a clear one-on-one. -on -one. It's a clear one-on-one. -on -one. And he finishes it. He finishes it. He finishes it! Freddy Giovanni with the assist by Van Strecker. Oh, a beautiful interception in that missed header. Oy, oy, oy. Oh, it was just, he had acres of space. He could have taken a seat, had a cup of tea, and nobody would have caught up with him still. Oh, wow. Van Strecker. Okay, let's see. Are you on the net? No, he's not even on the national pool. That's a, that's a waste. Because he, I think, he's really proven himself this game. Uh, Douglas, can they tie? Oh, is that a penalty? Oh my gosh. This is going to be a six-goal thriller if this is a penalty. Obviously, they got to make the penalty kick. Who are the managers here? We got Juan de la Cruz Ramos Cano for Pinkston. And then for Indrosini, we got Paolo Manuel Carvalho Sousa. I don't know who those guys are. And it's a penalty. It's a penalty. Who's taking it? Who's taking it? Here we go. Boom. 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 
It's converted Fermin Albiol, fourth goal of the season. He ties the game up. This has been a classic. 3-3. This is what I want. This is what I want for the Catan League. Indrosini with a great goal. Wow. Um, oh, not much to say. Uh, looks like it's going to end here at 3-3. That's uh, definitely, you know, this might end up just being a two-match episode because... Uh, you know, hopefully, you always hope that this happens. But, oh, are we going to get a fourth? Yes, we are. What the heck? I can't believe this. I thought the match was over. I was just writing this off. I thought they were going to blow the whistle at the 95th minute. This is crazy. Pinkson, four. Indrosini, three. Gaston Fanjuani, who's inexplicably left completely alone. And he, oh, my God, he put that ball off. Oh. Is it offsides? Is it offsides? No. No, that defender at the end there kept them onside. Wow. I can't believe this. Are we going to see a, sixth, a fifth goal for Pinkston? Are you kidding me? What is going on here? Is this a glitch? Is the game working? Is the game working? Van Strecker with the ball. Um, I, you know, I think you guys can end this. I think it's... It's over. Gaston! Gaston! Oh my gosh, another... Sh what is going on here? <laughs> Full time. All right. Wow. Um, Indrosini 3, Pinkson 4. That was a classic. What does that do to the table? It moves Pinkson up to 7. Um, let's look at a couple highlights here. Uh, I think first one first. Let's look at the um, first place team, Mute City. Let's see how they're doing. They took on Woodland here. Uh, a mid-table mediocre team and they got the victory let's see what happened exactly Giuseppe with the ball Giuseppe finds spirit spirit Mendoza beam Giuseppe Giuseppe puts it past the keeper uh, too easy too easy um, here we go let's see uh, we've got another mute city attack hazardous hazardous puts in a curler you go get it young man and uh, a consolation for Woodland noble killer a Catanian gets it to Hisakawa Hisakawa easy um, all right, a simple, you know, but what matters is Mute City's winning. Let's look at New New Mexico. Let's, oh, no, no, draw. Sorry, Pernay. Uh, Octavarius defeats Sommer. Ay, 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 they just cannot, they just can't get a break. Let's see, are they, any news? Do they have, they hired a coach? They, they made an approach for Maradona. I so badly wish that they had hired Diego Maradona. So he could just sleep on the sidelines after his cocaine binges. Um, let's see. Red City versus Arlen. Oh, wow. Red City with a 5-1 victory. Arlen, who's like, I believe, in third place. So this is pretty bad for them to lose so poorly. Let's see what happened exactly here. Uh, all right. Red City. Um, Anton Penzig. You know, I notice that Red City are using players they haven't really been using, and it seems to be working. Uh, Axelrod gets it to Rika. Rika find, ends up getting deflected back to Lopez, who crosses it in, and Bustos. Bustos there on the far post to get the goal. Axelrod finds Bustos. Bustos crosses it to Axelrod. Wow, Axelrod's killing it this match. And uh, <laughs> um, consolation for Arlen. Onazi gets in a cross, and Fernando Men, wow, he um, hammers that one home, but no, Red City wants to put a little, oh my gosh, that's bad, scored all the way from back there, okay, so let's get to these next matches, uh, I think we'll do one more match, and let's see what else happens in the transfer window, uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back, and I'm reviewing what's been happening here in transfers, no Catanians leaving, but we're seeing a lot of... Uh, players uh, coming from foreign leagues here to Catan. A lot of uh, Torvino grabbing Enrique Cabaco and Yozabed. Um, let's see, who else? Uh, Maxwell Cornet going to Torvino. Torvino really active here. Giovanni Simeone going to Snowblind from Napoli. Bonaventure going to from Banton to Gionbuck. What the heck is a Gionbuck? It's a Korean league. Oh, interesting. All right, so nothing too crazy. Kamar Roof going to Volta. Um, let's get to this next match. We are going to be looking at first place against third place, Mute City versus Arlen. I think that's going to be a good one. I thought it was the one that stood out to me just because both teams are super 
high up in the table. First versus third. Uh, again, let's check out some of these guys. For Arlen, Kalaiki Ali'i is going to be leading them up front. Um, and, uh, you know, no, I guess nobody's really standing out from their team in terms of star players. And, you know, if with... Uh, with Mute City, we got Foundamar, Mendoza Beam, who's been killing it lately. I'm going to add him to the national pool. And let's do this. Um, Mute City are in the dark, while um, Arlen are in the dark blue. Mute City is more of that dark brown color. And uh, let's see what will happen here. Mute City's got 43 points. Arlen's got 37 points. So even if Mute City loses... Arlen will still not be able to jump ahead of them, but Fort Haven could. And actually, no, Fort Haven lost, now that I think about it. They lost. We have to check out those highlights because they got crushed by Red City, who Red City has scored nine goals in two games. All right, here we go. Thorgan Hazardous. Thorgan Hazardous off the post. And then it fell to Hanta, who could not get it past Hans Lizardman. I feel like every time we've watched Arlen, every time the, the Moon Man comes to watch Arlen, Hans Lizardman just kills it. I think they just got some sort of connection um halftime wow okay so we went from having a really excited 4-3 match to now uh one highlight in the first half fantastic hey i chose the right match clearly all right here we go arlen with a chance arlen crosses it in um it ends up with mute city though mute city on the counter he finds mendoza beam mendoza beam attempts to get past the left back he doesn't try he crosses it ends up with rascal spirit he has a cannon for a leg and he goes fire and he shoots it into the goal that's how you do it i don't know why i'm so excited this is just a virtual league but you know it means something to me um, mendoza beam with a great cross it ended up getting deflected out of there and at the top of the box rascal spirit we've seen him do this a few times and he's uh he's showing why mute city is the well-oiled machine that they are okay here we go highlight for arlen helder costa finds fernando fernando might try his luck no he's not he gives it to yalun who finds gribble gribble to fernando somebody do something yalun back to fernando they are pay oh what a pass he saw Montreal, and Montreal made the perfect run, but confidence from the Mute City netminder. Just pure confidence. Uh, Rascal Sparrow. Oh, weird. It's rare. Two consecutive highlights. Oh, my. Um, here we go. Mute City looking to put a little cushion in this scoreline. Giuseppe finds Foundamar, who hits the post. Wow. I feel like ever since I put Foundamar into the national team, he's been struggling in the league. So he definitely won't make the next Catanian side, but it was worth a shot. But he's been strong. Oh, Fernando Man! Fernando Man! Oh, the Mute City keeper. He's on it today. He's got the confidence. He's got them cajones. Oh, here we go. Uh, oh, the corner kick ends up defended well. 70 minutes, 20 minutes left. Where's my beer? I need my beer for my 70 minute beer break. I need my beer. <clears throat> Okay, 10 minutes left, and uh, it looks like Mute City so far. I mean, it's only 1-0, but they've been playing pretty well here. Here we go, Thorgan Hazardous. Can we get a nail in the coffin? Hazardous finds Foundamar. Foundamar finds Spirit. Spirit goes down to the left where Tierney made the run. He gets it to Giuseppe. Giuseppe crosses in. Foundamar gets it past Hans Lizardman. Every time I criticize this dude, every time he says, take your criticism and shove it into your mouth. Because every time I criticize Foundamar, he scores. I feel like that happened in the last episode we did with Mute City. And poor Hans Lizardman, it wasn't meant to be this episode. Ay ay ay. And that is going to be... Yeah, no, he's onside. He was in front of that Arlen defender. And uh, that was the nail in the coffin, I think, for sure. Uh, Mute City really felt... no. Oh, here we go, maybe a corner? Nope, nothing. Yeah, no real opposition here for Mute City. Arlen really uh, played poorly. It's two matches. I believe they lost their last match to Red City, like 5-1. So uh, they're, this might be a bad sign of a bad run of form for them. Oh my gosh, and an own goal. Or no, not an own goal. Wash Shark Mendoza Beam. I love that name. Wash Shark Mendoza Beam. Um, with the goal there. It looked like an own goal. Let's see exactly. Tierney ended up with the ball. He cross it at the byline kind of and 
it really looked like an own goal. But uh, we'll take their take their word for it, football manager. Uh, it's a funny little glitch. Okay, and uh, let's let's wrap this one up. Uh, are we good? Are we good? We good? We great? Um, and uh, this one is been a good one. Three 0 victory for Mute City. Let's see a couple of highlights real quick before we end this episode. All right, let's go to the Settlers of Catan. Let's look at the matches. Let's see. Let's look at this one. Isai and Torvino to, in a 3-3 battle. You got to see these. 3-3 battles are always insane. These are two potential. This is a potential playoff matchup, so you never know. Uh, here we go. Torvino in the black jerseys. They started it off. Tiernan Funkenschlag. He would not be denied. He got it past Niedermeyer. But uh, Tor or Isai would attempt to, they responded, Jovovich on a corner kick, able to equalize the game, but Torvino, they they feel some sort of destiny. That is a bad own goal by Niedermeyer. Just hit the post, hit the back of his legs, went in, and he wants the ground to open up. Uh, Shadas, Shadas, ooh, that makes it 2-2. Two, two. And Tor it's just back and forth, back and forth. Funkenschlag, Funkenschlag, what a crazy game he's having. He's made everything happen. And uh, 56 minute, um, let's see, to tie the game, Miolenko, Michaelenko, something like that. 3 3 victory. And let's look at Red City destroying Fort Haven. Uh, Reds, and that's a tough match. Fort Haven is in first place. So, Red City, all of a sudden, they got it going. Um, let's see, we got, he got it to Kim Jin Ya. Kim Jin Ya found Flip Simmons, Flip Simmons with the goal. Uh, bad job by the Fort Haven defense, and they're not done. Axelrod, Axelrod with a chance, he crosses it to an incoming Kim Jin Ya, who who does the rest. Kim, who's Kim Jin Ya? Who the heck is this guy? He's never played at all in Axelrod. All of a sudden, he's killing it. What's going on here? You'd think that they would have got a new manager or something. Oh my gosh, look at this. He's still going. Oh my god, Flip Simmons. What a match. Okay, let's see uh, real quickly before we end this episode. How did Summer do? I just gotta know. I just gotta know. Did Summer? Summer lost. I I lost to Destromath. Coop it a coop. All right, let's look at the table here. Let's end this episode. Mute City. They are on top. I said Fort Haven's on top. I was wrong about that. Mute City's on top, and um, and the 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 race for the playoffs is getting super tight. Uh, so we're gonna have to continue watching and continue seeing what happens. So. Thank you for anybody, Prene and anybody that watched. Until the next time, this was a dozen episodes in. Dozen episodes. Take care, party people.